Hatch cover is one of the most important parts of cargo hold where the cargo is being loaded. It protects the cargo from getting wet when it rains during discharging and loading operations and most of all by the big waves when the vessel is at sea. There are various designs of hatch covers that suit the demand of different types of cargo vessels. These are lifting type hatch cover, rolling type, folding type, sliding and roll stowing type of hatch cover. In today's video, we will discuss folding type hatch cover which commonly used in Handy and Supramax bulk carrier vessels. Folding type hatch covers consist of two flat panels which are connected by hinges to form a folding pair. One pair stowed at the aft end and the other is in forward part of the hold. It is composed of two hydraulic pumps that build up hydraulic pressure, hydraulic tank for the hydraulic oil stored, hydraulic colors that cool the oil when it become hot, electrical panel board where you can start the pump's motor, and control stand where you operate to open and close the hatch cover. When the hydraulic pump starts, it will build up pressure and hydraulic line up to 280 to 300 bar. Then when you move the lever from control stand to open or close, this hydraulic pressure will pass the valve and goes to hydraulic cylinder to lift the piston rod for opening and push down the piston rod for closing. All hatch cover hydraulic pipes were started to deteriorate and during operation some of it broke and caused delay. The owner advised the vessel to change all hydraulic pipes using hydraulic precision pipes when there is opportunity. It takes year for the vessel to completely change all hydraulic pipes and the problem in hydraulic pressure started here. At first, number one pump can open the hatch cover while we are in Iran, Algeria for cargo discharging. We try to analyze what is the cause of problem. Either it is hydraulic line relief valve or pump itself that cannot build up the pressure. The hydraulic operating pressure must be 280 bar but it can only build up to 220 and when you open the hatch cover, the pressure fluctuates to 170 bar. You can use the pump in closing but it cannot open the hatch cover. We try to use number 2 pump and compare the results. Number 2 pump build up the pressure up to 280 bar and can open the hatch cover in normal operations. At this time, we confirm that the problem is the hydraulic pump. We try to adjust the relief valve but the pump pressure did not build up. So we decided to overhaul number 1 relief valve hoping that it will come back in normal operations but it was failed. We made a damage report and sent it to office in order for them to know about the current situation of number 1 hydraulic pump. We clearly elaborate that the problem is the pump itself and we need to request new one. On the next day while in discharging operations in Port of Oran, Algeria, number 2 pump cannot open the hatch cover anymore. The same problem with number 1 pump. It cannot build up a pressure up to 280 bar. We tried our best to fix the problem by overhauling the pump but we failed. We decided to use the emergency hydraulic pump in order to open the hatch cover and prevent any delay of discharging operations. We informed the office about the current situations that as of now, both pumps are not functioning anymore. We requested to supply us two sets of hydraulic pump. Our technical manager is jumping off his feet. How could this happen that both pump was damaged in short period of time. We have a series of conversations and troubleshooting analysis but it failed to fix the problem. I clearly explained to them that we renew all pipes of hatch cover and we cannot avoid that some metal particles will mix with the hydraulic oil. The hydraulic pump is wash plate piston type. It has liner and piston. These fine metals that mix with hydraulic oil destroy their moving parts and come up to maximum wear that cannot build up the hydraulic pressure anymore. Even that system has return line filter, it is unavoidable that it will pass and go to hydraulic tank then it will be suctioned by the pump. I talked to our technical manager that before we install the new pump, we must first drain the oil and clean the tank, drain all hydraulic pipes and flush it with new oil. This is to prevent new pump to get damaged and he agreed with it. 
We connect welding diaphragm pump and tank drain valve and transfer old oil into drums in order to throw it in engine room sludge tank. Ang loob ng tank eh. Yan. Yan. Tama yung mga latak na yan. Yan yung sumisira sa liner ng ano ng plus plate piston type na bomba. After we clean hydraulic tank, we refill it with 150 liters of new oil to flush the main line. We disconnect the return line and modify it by connecting hydraulic hose then directly put it into drums. Ano? Tutulo na? This idea is to flush the system with new oil. Then the old oil will go back into the drums and not in the tank. In doing this idea, we close all the valves in control stand and open the mainline circulation valve so that the pressure will not build up and we can manage the return oil into the drums. We flush the mainline until 150 liters of new oil was completely suctioned from the tank. The next step that we did is to flush the supply line going to opening and closing line of hydraulic cylinder. Connect the discharge hose of diaphragm pump that suctions the fresh oil from the bucket with new oil inside. Then we disconnect the hydraulic hoses of cylinders for opening or closing and submerge it in empty bucket to collect the old oil from the line. Each cargo hold from number 1 to number 5 has two lines for openings and two lines for closings for forward and aft panel. A total of 20 lines for 5 seats of hot cover in each line we flush it with 10 liters of oil. We consume a total of 400 liters of new oil in flushing the hydraulic line. After we flush the main line and supply line going to hydraulic cylinder, we clean again the hydraulic tank and refill with new oil up to normal level. Then we circulate the hydraulic oil of the main line using old pump for 15 minutes to bleed air from the system. After we bleed air from the main line, the next step is to bleed the air from supply line going to every hydraulic cylinder. We slightly close the circulation valve until the main line has 50 bar. Loosen the hose's connection of opening or closing line at hydraulic cylinder, then operate the opening or closing valve in control stand and wait until the oil was rid off from the line and oil has come out. After that, we tighten the hose's connection in order to be ready for testing operations. After we bleed air from all hydraulic line, we will now install the new pumps. Put oil inside the new pumps to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact during the first start. After the new pump was completely installed, we will test and check if it can build up 280 bar hydraulic pressure on the line. In starting method, open first the circulation valve so that the pump will not experience sudden rise of pressure. Slowly close the mainline circulation valve and watch out for any pump abnormal noise. Now that circulation valve was completely closed. Our new pump has developed 300 to 320 bar of hydraulic pressure. Enough pressure to open the hatch cover and more faster than before. Malagas! Dalawa na. The problem with that cover hydraulic pressure for opening was completely solved. The lesson that I learned from this problem is that we have to be more careful next time when we renew the hatch cover hydraulic pipes. Especially when you cut the pipes and some metal slugs will enter the pipes and later it will mix with hydraulic oil. This is Chief Engineer Elrich. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and share our videos in Facebook or in YouTube. Thanks, keep safe and God bless. Bye-bye.